So we need to finish up with this so that we can call it a day. So consider mobile banking app. I hope that you are able to see the screen that I've shared. Consider a mobile banking app that has the following key services. Bank money, withdraw money, buy airtime, and loans. For the user to bank money, they enter their Mpesa number. Their PIN and the amount they want to transfer to bank account. The user then receives a message showing successful banking or a fail message if the amount to be transferred from Mpesa to bank account is insufficient. Right. For the user to withdraw money, they visit the nearest bank agent where they provide their bank card and they enter their PIN and amount to withdraw. A success message or a fail message is sent to the user's number via text if or not the transaction has, not, has been successful and money is given if successful. For the user to buy airtime, they log in into the app using their bank PIN and enter the amount. If it's successful, airtime is sent to phone with a success message or a fail message if amount in account is insufficient. For loans, user enters the type of loan and amount. The credit limit and loan history is okay. The amount is debited into user's bank account and receives a text message on their phone. Fail message if loan could not be approved. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, let's now have the, the system. Let's have the sequence diagram and then we are able to represent it. Uh, so which objects can you see? I hope, please unmute your... Are you able to hear me? I hope that you're able to hear me. I hope that you are able to hear me. So please. Please unmute yourself so that we can interact. Eh? Andrew and Kelvin. Okay, if you're able to hear me, then let me go on. All right, so which objects can you see here? Which objects, physical and abstract? There is a user. So you first have to identify the objects. So we have the user. We have the bank money, an object. Withdraw money is an object. By airtime, an object and loans is an object. In other words, these are modules, they are entities that interact. So user is a physical object, bank money, these others, they are what? Uh, abstract objects. Okay, so let, let us begin then representing them. So I'm just going to copy this so that I don't have to create again. So which particular object sends and receives messages or which particular object interacts with the other objects so much. Uh, the one that interacts with the other object so much is which one? The user. Okay. It is the user. All right. Of course we are going to change here and there so that the grids don't, the grids don't are not crossed. But uh, well, suffice it to say, the user is the one that is interacting with most of these other objects okay so uh we'll copy and paste this so we'll have different objects that are interacting with one another So we, uh, we can have bank money, but the, okay, just see what I'm going to do. I'm going to, the ones that are 
closer. So for the user to bank money. So if the user is the one that is central here, I'm going to have bank money here. Mm -hmm. And then with the draw money is going to be here. Uh, which else? Which other? Bank money withdraw, buy airtime, buy airtime and loans. No, let me just put in this way. Let me swap them. There we go. All right, so we have the five objects, buyer time, bank money, withdraw money, loans, and user. All right, so we are going to have the grids. I'm going to paste, copy and paste this. So the user is the one interacting with most of these, most of these, so I'm going to have a long grid uh, for that. In fact, let me just, uh, or okay, no, no, no. Let me, mini, let me reduce the font so that I can have, um, you know, like more space to draw. All right. So we have the user there, the grid for the user because why the user is the one that is interacting with most of these other objects. So we begin, uh, for the user to bank money, they enter their M-Pesa number. So we are going to have a grid here for banking money. Uh-huh, all right. So the user to bank money enters there. He enters the what? Just a minute. For the user to bank money, he enters the Mpesa number, PIN, and amount. Okay. So I'm going to have here Mpesa. Mpesa number in and out okay and then uh, the user receives a message showing successful banking okay so the user receives a message from that particular module that tells him what banking you bank successfully with a bank account updated balance or a fail message. So we are going to have uh, just minutes. So we're going to have here, uh, what? Says what? Successful banking showing what? Bank account updated balance. So, Success banking message showing what? Bank account, account balance, account balance. Then I'm going to increase this because of something else. Then we are also told that it, or a fail message if the amount to be transferred from M-Pesa to bank account is insufficient. So you will also, he can receive a failed message. So we are going to have an arrow to show another message, which represents a fail, okay? So,
I really need it to. So build banking. And how do you show the constant, the con the contrast, the, the contrast, you show it using the parentheses. And the message should be what? A fail message with the amount. So you show what is in the contrast, uh, you show it using the parentheses. And inside it, you have to write what makes that condition to return false. And so that condition is what? If the amount to be transferred from PESA is insufficient, okay? Amount insufficient, okay? Amount insufficient. See that? Uh -huh. I want this to appear in a just a minute. Okay. Right. Then the next thing is what? The next thing is uh, if the user wants to buy airtime. So I'm going to copy this grid. Sorry. Uh, right, just skip. No. Delete. I'm going to copy this grid here. The grid for buy airtime. Okay. So, uh -huh. so it says for the user to withdraw money. Oh, okay, so we are here. We okay, withdraw money. So, so right. So for the user to withdraw money, they visit the nearest bank agent where they provide their bank card, uh, card pin, and amount to withdraw. So, I'm going to have an arrow here. Mm -hmm. And so what do they provide? They provide they provide their card. They, are, they provide their PIN. Of course, the PIN, the 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 the, the card, okay, all right, the card, the PIN, and the amount. Bro. And a successful then a successful a success message is sent to the user's number via text if or not the transaction has been successful. So if they withdraw money, they they insert the card, they they provide the pin and the amount. Okay. And then if there's a success withdrawal, then it will say. Success withdrawal. There. Yeah. I'm just going to show that. Success withdrawal. And money is given, okay? Success withdrawal and money is given, okay? Money is not a message, so we can't represent money, okay? If for the user, so it's also a fail message if what if if it is not successful so we need also to represent the the fail message so the fail message is going to be presented in this manner right fail withdrawal fail withdrawal Why? Why is fail withdraw? Why is why is there a fail? Because 
of uh, incorrect details, incorrect details or amount, incorrect details or amount. Right. In other words, if it puts the in an incorrect pin, it's going to. It's not going to withdraw successfully. Also, if it puts a correct pin, but the amount is not able, you're not able to withdraw, then the amount is not enough. Also, it's going to, to, to send you a fail withdraw message. Okay, then for the user to buy items, so we are done with banking money and withdrawing. So now we are at buy item. For the user to buy airtime, there we are. So we can actually yeah okay for the user to buy airtime uh they log in into the app using their bank pin and enter the amount all right so the user buying airtime we show that using this arrow so that the cost to show that is a message so they provide what their pin their bank pin and they also provide what? The amount. Amount. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so let me just out that there. Okay. So they provide the pin and the, the amount. And then after providing pin and amount, uh, and amount with uh, to buy if successful airtime is sent to phone with a success message or a fail message so we need to have a success message all right so insert this so this is to show that uh, success success by airtime by airtime and then there needs to be another to show fail okay so to show that there is a fail just a minute so that i can actually I just want to ensure that they fit there, okay? Okay, let me just cut this and paste it there. Let me have it there. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. It looks better. And then, of course, we're going to have um, a one for success. Yeah, there. Just. Uh -huh. And then, if if it is not successful. Then we are going to represent it. So fail, fail by airtime. So fail by airtime. Why would the what would there be a fail? Because of probably. So we are going to have a constraint. Sorry, we are going to have a constraint here. what probably the incorrect incorrect pin what amount the amount not enough amount insufficient right if the amount is insufficient you're not able to buy it yeah. incorrect pin or amount insufficient okay I hope you're able to see what, what I'm having. 
incorrect pin or amount insufficient. Then um, we are told, so we are done with buy airtime. We are done with the buy airtime uh, uh, message passing. All right, and then uh, for loans, the user enters the type of loan and the amount. So here we have loan. Okay, so the user enters type of loan and amount. So we're going just to copy and paste this grid here to show that is for loan. So the user enters what? Type of loan. So the user enters what? Uh, the user enters for loans, the user enters type of loan and amount. So the message is entering the data he's providing is what? Type of loan. Amount, okay. All right, type of loan and amount uh-huh then I'll just have it there then what happens if the credit limit and loan history is okay the amount is debited so the amount is debited and uh, into and receives a text message on their phone so we are going to have a another arrow to show the message sent by the loans the loan module. There. So we are going to show here a message showing that your, your loan has been approved and it has been sent, okay? So loan approval. A message that is showing that loan has been approved and loan has been sent. Okay, loan approval details. Okay, I think that makes more sense. Loan approval details. Mm -hmm. And then, if it has not been approved, of course, there has to be a what? A fail message. So fail approval and why is the reason for fail approval because of the what it says here because of uh if the what if the credit limit and loan history is okay so if the credit limit and loan history is not okay so we're going to say credit limit loan history not okay Right. So that is what is going to make the loan to not be approved. Okay. So that is our sequence diagram. So does yours look like mine? So of course it's a fail message if loan could not be approved, and that's what you have already uh, have the fail message. Right. Okay. So draw a sequence, and you have drawn. So that uh, do you have uh, something like this? So you need to have something like that. That's our sequence diagram. That's our sequence diagram. So any question? Any question?
Okay, so if there's no question, then I want to assume that you have understood. The recordings are going to be uploaded. I have them in my local disk. So they are going to be, you're, you're doing your cut two next week. So I intend to upload all these notes and uh, the notes and, and the videos. Uh, the notes are going to be in the portal. The video are going to be in the YouTube channel. So the recordings are there. I have them. Okay. You're going to find them in the YouTube channel. Okay. So normally they are auto recorded during the session. They are auto recorded during the session. Okay. There is a YouTube channel for the school. Okay. There's a YouTube channel for the school. If you don't know about it, the ZTEC University channel. I'm going to give you some instructions on how you can access the, the channel. Uh, I'm going to also send you some links. When I upload them to the YouTube channel, I'm also going to put some links. All right. I'm going to put links in the, in the, in the portal so that you can actually be able to access. All right. Yeah. So I'll copy from YouTube the link, the URL to the, to the portal so you are able to access it from there. All right, then that marks the end of today's class. That is sequence diagrams for you. Um, in the next class, you are going to look at collaboration diagrams. And collaboration diagram is like a continuation of this because it's a type of a sequence. It's a type of an interaction diagram. Remember always, when you are drawing these diagrams, ensure, especially sequence diagrams, ensure that the objects that are frequently interacting with the rest should be placed in the middle, okay? The objects frequently interacting with the rest should be placed in the, in the middle. And you can actually read the way these uh, messages are passed from top to bottom, all right? Because we said that the feature of sequence diagrams that they show how messages are passed from one object to another during, you know, in different times. So the thing is about time. So you can actually see that uh, there is this, after this happens, then this happens. In other words, this, this success banking message cannot be sent if the user does not provide them person number, pin and amount. Yeah. And also failed banking cannot be sent if the user does not provide there's a pin number and there's a number pin and amount in other words you are able to actually read from top down to see how the messages are being sent when this message is sent then the other one is sent when this one is sent then the other one is sent that is why that is why we have not we could not like for instance we put you see this message for person number pin and amount here there's no way we could put this message below success bank why because it doesn't start with success banking it starts with first the user entering and person up, right? So you need to show how they they flow, how they how the messages are passed from time to you know from one time to another time, okay? Otherwise, you cannot have success banking before and person number pin and amount. In other words, we I, can, I cannot interchange or I cannot reorder. I cannot reorder this. I cannot reorder these uh, arrows. Seriously, letter E arrow and person number pin amount up achieving a success banking. Why? Because what that says is that the message for success banking is first sent, then the user is, enters now the MPESA number, which is not the correct illustration as given in the question. The question says first he enters the MPESA number, pin and amount, then a success banking. So that's why I've started with this message as they follow one another downwards. Okay? Yeah. So that's 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 uh, the the order should be downwards as you draw the messages, okay? As you draw the messages this way or this way or this way, they have to follow one another downwards, as as given in the question. All right. So that is what we have for today. I hope that you have learned. So I intend to end the meeting. If there is no other question, then you can continue learning on this. So again, as I've said, all these notes that I've uh, that I that I have here, 
uh, intend to, we've been having a lot of uh, things up and down. We've been doing a lot of things concerning the, the exams that you did. So resolving issues and such kind of things. I hope that, uh, especially for, for which group? For DIT, I hope that your computer organization exam was okay. Is it DIT, DIT or DBIT? DIT, DIT. If you have any issue with the exams, please ensure you tell the HOD so that the HOD can look in. The HOD can pass the message to me. So tell all the other students if there is anything you have concerning the exams issues you have, you think they need to be sorted, ensure you reach out to the HOD so that the HOD can reach to the respective uh, lecturers concerned so that the issues can be addressed, okay? Otherwise, uh, please uh, don't make a fuss about the small, small exam mistakes that have been done. They are very, very small mistakes, very minor mistakes. And those mistakes are bound to happen because we are dealing with a lot of students, okay? So if you see, probably you you didn't, you are somebody, a lecturer put for you a D&D &D and other exams, you, you have the exams, yeah? Those are just minor uh, issues that uh, you just address and they are going to be resolved. Just raise the issue and they are going to be resolved. So uh, it might not be, that's it for today. Uh, we are going to resume our class next week. And uh, I've been saying that we are going, I'm going to be putting these notes. So I'm going to, today is Friday. So I really want to commit myself to put those notes by today. Uh, Otherwise, if I if I overlook it, next week will find me having not uploaded them. So I'll upload the notes and also the if it normally takes time to upload the, the 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 recordings. The recordings are there, okay, but it takes time to upload them to the YouTube channel. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of bandwidth. So for the recordings, because today I'm not in school, but I will go to school on Monday. So for the recordings, I will upload them on Monday. Are you together? At least so that I can use the the school Wi-Fi, all right? Others I cannot upload them with my with my bundles. It will be it will be it is bandwidth intensive. So on Monday I will upload all those recordings, uh, and then of course, but the notes, the notes I'm going to put them in the on the on the photo by the end of end of today, so that you can begin preparing for your cut two. I'm going to administer cut two next week. It's going to be a takeaway cut. But that being said, I hope that you have learned, that you have benefited from today's class. So I wish to end the meeting at that point. And then uh, you have yourself a good uh, afternoon and enjoy your weekend.